In this tutorial, we're going to finish up our guitar by creating the strings. First thing I'd like to do is select everything and make sure that it's on the first subdivision possible so everything loads quickly. It's not going to be as smooth, but that's alright. Alright, now I'll go to Create, down to Polygon Primitives, and then over to Cylinder. It's going to create a cylinder, and I'm going to hit W to move it, and I'm going to move it up a little bit, hit E to rotate, and on the Z axis, I'd like to rotate that 90 degrees. And then I'll simply scale down the object until it's roughly the size of a string on the guitar. And I'm just going to move this down to here so that I can get the uh, dimensions pretty correct. And I'm thinking about like that is going to work. About like that. All right, now front. Uh, I'm sorry, front view. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna drag this just like this, so that it's inside of here like this. Okay. And faces. Grab this last face. And you can see it's lined up pretty much uh, perfectly. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And now I need to grab this and drag it over to here. Actually, I'm going to grab all of these and do that. Drag them onto the line. and move them up to about there. Alright, I'll grab this string, copy and paste it, and I'll move this down to about there. Oops, a little bit farther. Right there will work. And you can see that the spacing is qu actually quite large. And that's going to be sort of difficult to get um, more than probably five strings on here. So, what I think I'll do is um, grab this, this, and this, and move it up to here. And I'll grab this, 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 delete those. Now those are roughly scaled and uh, in the correct positions. Okay. Now let's go down to this end, and I want to grab the vertices of each one of these and simply drag them uh, into the balls on this end. And if we have to curve them a little bit, that's all right.
don't need this last one here, so I'll go to faces. Polygon mode first, then faces. Right about like that should work just fine. And, and right now all I'm doing is just adjusting the positions of these objects so that they are uh, a little bit more correct. Okay, I'll go to perspective view now. Right, side view now. Or I'm sorry, the front view. And we can see that these... Uh, strings don't really line up here. Now we can see how the strings are uh, a little bit too low now in the middle section. But that's alright because we can very easily adjust that. Let's go to object mode on this. Go to the front view again. Uh, and then we're going to use the cut faces tool which is probably not going to work on these strings quite yet. Uh, it works on the first one, but we need it on all of them. Well, how can we do that? How can we actually get that onto all of them? Well, I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and select them all and go to Polygons, Combine, and then in the uh, front view here, we can use the Cut Faces tool, and we can cut all of them at the same time. Now I'll go to the separate, and I'll grab this last string, copy and paste it, vertices, twice and now we can see those strings on our guitar that look pretty good and all right that's all we've now completed our electric guitar I hope you all have enjoyed the modeling section for this electric guitar and um, I can't wait to see you guys in future lessons thanks